I've encountered uh, racism throughout my life, uh, pretty much up to this point even now. Um, and there have been an, a lot of different experiences for me, particularly when I was young. And I think when I think about the, the experiences that I've had with racism, the ones that happened in my youth tend to be the ones that stand out a lot more because I was impacted by them significantly um, when I was younger. As opposed to now, when I experience racism, I have a totally different perspective on how to deal with it. So when I was younger, for example, I would constantly be um, made to feel excluded because of my differences. So, you know, visibly, um, you know, I look different from everybody else because I have a turban and a beard. Um, and it was almost as if um, in that particular, in those particular situations, what wasn't the most, um, you know, hurtful thing wasn't the, the act in particular, but it was the way the act made me feel. So um, that's where, you know, racism derived its power from, particularly in my, in my youth because of the way it made me feel. So, you know, a, a simple example would be, um, you know, um, getting bullied at school, getting picked on at school, um, by a group of people because I look different. So, you know, it would just be something as simple as name calling, for example, um, was a common thing and, and is now, but not, not to an ex to the same extent. Um, and so name calling would be frequent, but um, it was my, the way I responded to it was what made it very um, hurtful for me because I took that on board personally. Um, and very much as a thing of it's my fault or I'm at fault because of, you know, what's being, you know, because of the name calling. When, when I think about it now, that's not necessarily the case.